Okay, the next thing we need to do is pick a hosting company. Um, I guess we also need to decide where we're going to buy our domain name, but um, I'm going to show you a trick to get the domain name for free uh, if you buy a certain hosting package. Now, so let me focus on just the hosting packages or the hosting company for a minute, and then we'll come back to the domain name. Um, if you search the internet just for uh, web hosting, which is what I've done here, web hosting, you're going to get, let's see, like uh, 1.2 billion results, um, tons of stuff, host, gator, fat cow, GoDaddy, uh, Rackspace. I mean, there are so many of these things, so many. Um, and the prices are really similar. So what should you be looking for? Here's the main two things that I always look for in a hosting company are number one, price. Make sure their prices are reasonable. Um, not necessarily the cheapest thing. Um, like some of these are like, here's hosting for a dollar. Okay. Uh, that has me suspicious. Uh, there's something more to that. <clears throat> but you want to make sure the price is reasonable. Um, <clears throat> number two, and the price for hosting should be between the 5 to $7 a month thing. Any more than that, you're paying for stuff you're never going to use. Any less than that, and you're going to have to pay more to actually use it, is what I found. Um, so the price needs to be reasonable in the ballpark. Number two is the tech support. Um, is the tech support good? Can you get a human on the phone in a short amount of work? Um, or is it just a runaround kind of a situation? So those are the main two things that I look for. Um, so there are hundreds of these companies. I'm going to save you a little bit of time. Now, for the purposes of this class, you're welcome to use any company that you like. Um, if you're already using a company and you're happy with them, stick with it. You'll still be able to follow along with this class just fine. Um, I'm going to recommend a company that I've been using for a while. Uh, I don't work for them or anything like that. Their prices are good. Their tech support is great, actually. Um, so I've been really happy with them. Uh, so we're going to get to that. Uh, let me point out here this like GoDaddy $1 hosting sale. Hopefully I don't get in trouble for saying this by anything, but I do not recommend GoDaddy. GoDaddy is probably the biggest company but they do stuff like this all the time, and I, it's just, I see students fall for this all the time, and it really kind of drives me nuts. Um, what's happening here is they're going to give you hosting for a dollar, but then all the little pieces to actually use it, so to like, you know, create an email account, it's going to be another couple bucks, and create uh, an FTP connection, it's going to be another couple bucks, and there's all these little things that should just come with a hosting account, and anywhere else would be included in one package, um, they're going to kind of nickel and dime you for more and more and more, and you're end up going to end up spending 15 or 20 bucks a month. So like a lot more than you would spend if you just went with a normal company. So what I'm going to recommend is um, this company, Bluehost. Um, oops. Now, I've been using Bluehost for a while now um, for some of my other projects, but not for my main website. And so what I'm actually going to do in the next couple of videos is, transfer, is set up a new account with Bluehost, and then I'm going to uh, transfer my domain name over to Bluehost as well. So we'll be talking about how to do that. Um, if you don't have a uh, domain name yet, that's just fine. That's actually a little bit better because transferring it is kind of a long process. Here's what we're going to get here. Now, don't worry about this for right now because I'm going to walk you through this step by step in the next video. Um, but what I'm going to go to is shared hosting. I'm going to look at what we get. We get unlimited domains. That means that there's a lot of domain names. We can connect to one account and they're not going to charge us more for that. Unlimited storage, which is probably one of the biggest things you look for is that there's enough storage. 
you don't actually need a lot of storage in a website. Like a gig of storage for a website is kind of a lot, actually. So, um, but this is unlimited storage. It's whatever you need to get. Uh, unlimited websites. So you can create more and more websites from one hosting package. You can create as many email accounts as you like, and we're going to walk through how to do that. You get one free domain name connected to it. So if you don't have a domain name already, um, there's you're going to get one free with this $5 a month uh, account. So this is a great deal. Um, their support is good. Uh, I've been really happy. I've been using them in some of my other projects for two or three years now, and it's finally time for me to pull the trigger and um, move my main website over to them, uh, which is what I'm going to be doing in this video. Um, okay, last thing about hosting. So once again, you're welcome to use whatever you like uh, for a company. I'm going to be using Bluehost in these videos. If you don't have anything, it's a great company. I highly recommend it. Um, all of the the Videos and stuff you're going to see are going to be of me using Bluehost, but it's not really going to matter uh, after the couple setup stuff. Once we get into the WordPress heavy stuff, it doesn't really matter who your host is because WordPress is WordPress. Um, now, that being said, if you are going to use Bluehost, I'm going to make you a little bit of a deal. Um, the deal is, I'm going to, when I finish making this whole online class, I'm going to make it a little bit cheaper. I'm going to try to make it as cheap as I can uh, so that you do one little favor for me. And here's the favor. Uh, when you go to Bluehost in your browser, you don't just go to Bluehost. You go to Bluehost track slash J. Anthony Allen. Uh, what that's going to do, once you hit return, it's going to take you right back to Bluehost. But what that's going to do is it's going to let Bluehost know that you came from my class. And what that's going to do is they're going to give me a little bit of a kickback. Um, they give me a couple bucks when someone signs up with them. And I just to, be, just to completely reiterate, lay everything on the table here, you do not have to use Bluehost to get the most out of this class. Um, after teaching this class a whole bunch of times in the in-person thing, I realized that I was sending Bluehost a lot of a lot of customers, um, so I was able to set up this thing where uh, I get uh, a couple bucks whenever someone signs up through them, helps offset the, the the price of some of the class. So if you want to do that, I would very much appreciate it. I'm going to make this a nice and cheap class, very affordable, so that you can all take the class and I can make a couple extra bucks if you use that link. It'll help me out a little bit. If you if you don't want to do that, that's fine too. I totally understand, but uh, it's just a couple extra letters you got to type in, and then I get a couple bucks. So please help me do that. Um, and uh, with that, let's dive into setting up an account and getting started.